Here's what I'd say to people who, who are in addiction. How's it working for you? Is that, is it, is it really working? I mean, what, what, what are the results? You know, insanity says doing the same thing and expecting different results. If it's not working, just try something else. Give it a try. Set it down and see what happens. And I know, I know the pull on that is, is strong. And I never, you know, when I first got sober, man, those pulls and those tugs were, were hard, you know, and to resist them was, was strong. I remember waking up one night, I was, I was just a few months sober, and I'm back home in Texas sleeping in the bed, in the bedroom I grew up on, uh, and, and the, my, my uh, bedroom window was to the backyard, and it backed up to a cyclone fence with the neighbors. I woke up in the middle of the night, I looked out there, and I swore that there was a margarita machine out there and all these kegs. I'm like, man, they about to have a straight-up party over there. And I went, to, went back to sleep, woke up, nothing was there. You know, I'd have these moments, and it was usually like every 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, you'd have these brain resets. Um, but they, they were strong. And, and I guess my biggest encouragement to someone would be is, Try something else. Try to replace that thought when it comes. Um, again, I was just a few months sober, and we're on the road with the basketball team, and I'm in Boise, Idaho. I don't know anybody in Boise, Idaho. But I know that when I got to that hotel room, man, I had the compulsion to drink really bad. So I, I picked up the phone, and I called the AA office in Boise, Idaho. They sent a car to come pick me up at the hotel, and they drove me to a meeting and then dropped me back off at the hotel. And I thought, wow. There's a community out there, and there's, there's help out there for those who want it, and there's people who, who want the best for you. And so if this is, the addiction isn't working out well, then chances are it's not. Give the, other, give the other way a try. And just take that first step of trying to live life on life's terms. I, we talked, I talked to our kids about my, at a young age, I shared with them my struggles with alcohol because I wanted them to know, look, it, it's, it can be inherited. It's on both sides of my family. And the only way you'll know, you, 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 you can avoid knowing whether or not you're an alcoholic is never picking up in the first place. But once you do, there's that, you never know. And I can remember when, uh, when I was in seminary, I was going to school, I had a night class, and I had just been, we just finished dinner, Kim brought a banana pudding, uh, that she put, made for me, and we were celebrating uh, a sobriety date for me on, on November 3rd. And uh, I took that opportunity to share with the kids, uh, this is, your father's an alcoholic, and Hallie was young. She's like, what, you're a drunk? And I'm like, well, yeah, basically, let me, I have a struggle with alcohol, and I had struggles through high school, and I shared with them all, and uh, Lexi was pretty young at the time, so... <clears throat> I finished dinner and it was time for me to go to class and I'm like, all right, kids, I'm, I'm off. And Lexi stands up in her chair and goes, hey, dad, don't drink any wine on the way to class, all right? <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I think she got it. But, you know, she, being up front with them and saying, hey, look, this is your family history. You know, this is, this is something your father struggles with. And I don't want them to think that I'm this I'll know I make mistakes, you know, and I want them to know that I know that I make mistakes, and I want them to be able to learn from them, uh, not just some pie-in-the-sky image, but like, no, I've dealt with this, and hopefully me sharing it with you means you don't have to deal, go through that same path. You don't have to go down that same road. Um, so I, I think it's important to, I think it's important to be open with your kids to a certain respect and, and to a certain sense of t letting them know maybe some of the things you've struggled with so that they don't have to go down that same path that you did.